The organization that Chinese leaders attach the most importance to is the Central Security Bureau. It protects their personal safety and is also used to spy on other senior leaders. The Bureau has played an essential role in helping Deng Xiaoping and Xi Jinping sack their political opponents. Facing more challenges than any of his predecessors, she has changed the head of the agency four times in seven years. Recently, one of his former security chiefs is rumored to have died. The unusual silence on his death has caused speculation about the status of Xi's security team. Hello everyone, welcome to Lei's Real Talk, I'm Lei. The Central Security Bureau is responsible for the security of the most senior CCP officials, including the past and present members of the Politburo Standing Committee, which is a group of about a hundred of the most influential CCP members. The agency plays two roles, to protect the leader's safety and to spy on them. A former Changsha municipal official, Jiang Xinqi, recorded a conversation with former leader Hua Guofeng, who succeeded Chairman Mao briefly before being ousted by Deng Xiaoping. In the conversation which took place on January 12, 2005, but explained the operation of the Security Bureau. The guards' only responsibility to their assigned leader is to protect him, and they follow orders from the Central Security Bureau. When the leader's instruction contradicts that of the Security Bureau, the guards must carry out the order of the Bureau unconditionally. When the leader goes out, the guards must report his whereabouts to the Bureau daily. For attending meetings, a guard escorts the leader to the meeting and hands in his gun to the security guards at the venue, who would return the weapon after the leader finishes the meeting and the guard resumes his duty. From this, we learn that CCP leaders' bodyguards don't report to them, but to the security bureau, which the top leader controls. The guards can also spy on them. This is why the bureau is the most important agency for the top guy. Just recently, on April 27th, a WeChat account named Loyal China Police released an obituary saying that Wang Shaojun, the former head of the Central Security Bureau, died on April 26 due to illness. However, the obituary was later removed, causing public attention. A newspaper in Hong Kong briefly reported Wang's death, but no mainland Chinese media reported it and the collective silence on the death of Zhou Nanhai's former chief bodyguard seemed odd. Wang was appointed deputy chief of the Central Security Bureau in 2009. In 2015, Xi Jinping promoted him to replace Cao Qing, who was Hu Jintao's security chief. Since then, Wang has been with Xi and accompanied him to many major events, including his visits to the United States and the United Kingdom in 2015. In 2018, Wang was assigned an additional leisure position within the party, indicating his pending retirement. In July 2021, he was replaced by Major General Zhou Hongxu, Deputy Chief of Staff of the Northern War Zone. But six months later, on January 11, 2022, Wang appeared in a CCTV news story, attending the opening ceremony of a training session at the party's central school with Xi Jinping. One sat between the deputy director of the General Central Office and the vice minister of the Central Propaganda Department. The seating arrangement indicated that he was still the head of the security bureau. Why did Xi Jinping want two security chiefs to serve him? We don't know, but it showed that she trusted Wang even after he was displaced. General Wang seemed to be in good health a year ago, according to the TV footage and his sudden death at age 67 is mind-boggling. CCP leaders' life expectancy is very high due to excellent health care programs. Wang's close relationship with Xi, his unusual return to duty, his sudden death, and the state media's strange silence make people wonder about the Bureau's operations and suspicious of whether one died of unnatural causes. Some people suspect that he died of COVID, as a new wave of the virus seems to be hitting China right now. You can check out my program on April 25th for more details on the new wave. Anyways, the sudden death of Xi Jinping's former chief bodyguard 
piqued people's interest in the Central Security Bureau and its role in CCP politics. After all, a few bureau heads did in fact play an instrumental role in sacking political opponents for their leaders. One such case is the removal of Guo Xilai, the man who wanted to overthrow Xi in a coup d'etat. Hu Jintao's chief bodyguard, Cao Qing, who was General Wang's boss and predecessor, planned Bo's arrest. Around March 14, 2012, Bo Xilai's mobility was monitored. Three weeks later, on April 9, two officials and four security guards arrived at his home to take him to the Great Hall of the People. Bo wanted to make a phone call, but the line had already been cut. He was taken to a small auditorium at the Great Hall and told that his wife had been arrested and that he was to be investigated. Cao Qing was probably the most experienced CCP security chief in such procedures. In his younger years, he participated in another famous case, the arrest of Madame Mao and her gang of four. After Mao Zedong died in September 1976, Infighting intensified among CCP top leaders over who would take over. One month later, Hua Guofeng, Mao's designated successor, collaborated with Mao's chief bodyguard, Wang Dongxing, to arrest Madame Mao and the three men who belonged to her gang of four. It was a complex and efficient plan. Wang instructed the party's general office to call a Politburo meeting and invited the three men to Huairong Hall at Zhongnanhai. They arrived separately with their bodyguards. When they arrived, Wu Jichen, then deputy director of the Central Security Bureau, took the bodyguards' weapons away and gave them three rules. One, they could not leave the room. Two, they couldn't make any phone contact with the outside. And three, they had to be quiet. The bodyguards were then sent in another room to wait. Wu Jichen recalled, I often play this role when they had meetings, telling the guards the rules and where to wait. When I gave the same instructions on that day, they weren't suspicious. When the three men entered Huairong Hall, they were arrested. Hua Guofeng informed them that their illegal activities were under investigation and they were escorted to cars waiting outside. The arrest of Madame Mao took place simultaneously at her residence. One of her bodyguards and her nurse had been notified ahead of time. When the security bureau guards arrived, the guard turned in his weapons and led them to Madame's room. She remained calm and did not react, according to the nurse. She wrote two letters before she was taken away. The arrest of the gang of the four took only 35 minutes in total. The Central Security Bureau is managed by the party's general office, which runs the CCP household for the party's central committee. The general office issues orders and the bureau does the work. From Mao Zedong to Xi Jinping, all CCP leaders know the importance of controlling both the Security Bureau and the general office. Mao made his chief bodyguard Wang Dongxin the head of both the general office and the Central Security Bureau. After Mao died, Deng Xiaoping gained power. He didn't hold the title of President of China or Party Secretary, serving instead as the Chairman of the Central Military Commission. In order to control the Central Security Bureau, he moved it from under the General Office to the Central Military Commission. After Deng's death, Jiang Zemin moved the Security Bureau back to the General Office, and this has remained unchanged. General Zhou Hongxu, a former People's Liberation Army officer, is now the head of the Central Security Bureau, and the newly promoted Politburo Standing Committee member Cai Qi is the head of the General Office. Cai is considered the second most powerful man in China, even though he ranks number five in the Politburo. I had a live stream on March 23rd dedicated to discussing Cai's profile in the party. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. If you like my channel, please subscribe.